Hey guys, welcome back and today is a pretty special day because we have a stick shift finally. Marcus, are you excited about the stick shift? Yep. Marcus is kind of excited because he's going to learn how to drive manual. So this is our gaming setup guys, as you can see, that's our new Arosi little setup over there with the G920 with our little Xbox right here and a 4K Samsung TV. So we balling over here with our little setup. Wait, Marky, we didn't even turn on the little lights over here. Let's turn on Come on. Oh wait, ah, oh, we're unplugged, bro. Dude, we're printing over here. Oh. By the way, if you hear that noise, that's the little printer. Actually printing a little doorstop. If you're interested in 3D printers, check this video out. That's a little quick plug. But yeah, we need power and we don't have it. What are we gonna do? Let there be light. Boom. Okay, we're gonna chop somebody's fingers off today. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right, Marcus, let's see what's in there. Pop that lid open. Ooh. I like the packaging that Logitech puts on these things. Wow, that looks pretty nice, dude. How does it feel? Is it heavy? Oh, it's got some good weight to it. All right, so it looks like there's some wiring here. Well, I guess the wiring part of it. Okay, pull the bag off. Whoa. Whoa. This thing looks really, really good. So this is like a leather, sort of. And the knob itself is actually leather too, right here. That right there is plastic, unfortunately. I wish that would be metal, that would be so nice. But that's plastic. So here you have the two little tighteners here to mount. And then you have like another little screw thing over there, it looks like, to also mount. It's a little small, but honestly it's a good size. And here in the front of it, you can see that it's sewed in the front here, so it looks pretty good overall. All right, Marcus, so let's take out our whole system down there and hook it all up and uh, see if we can install this shifter. So. All right, so it's as simple as pulling it out. Well, I'm connecting our cable here. All right, so it started up. And that's what our little setup looks like. All right, so let's grab the shifter here. And this is where the shifter is going to live, guys. Or technically, that's where it's supposed to be. Let's see. Okay, this thing does have mounting bolts there, which technically should line up over here. But we're just going to clamp it for today and uh, see how that works out. Okay, it doesn't reach, bro. Huh? It doesn't reach. Nothing reaches. All right guys, so we had a little situation here. It looks like this thing can, can't grip on such a thin platform here, so we're gonna need some kind of little prop. And so I found this world's best dad that I got on Father's Day, and it fits in here perfectly, just like that. So we're just gonna clamp into that, just like this. So Marcus is gonna put it on. And that's how we're gonna clamp the shifter on. Now it'll clamp. So yeah guys, here you can see that we got everything clamped and we can e even use this other screw clamp here to clamp down on it. So we're going to have a really good little support here. Alright, so once you get that tightened, the cool part is, is these things push in and lock in just like that. Just like on the steering wheel here. So that's really nice. So we're we will have to take this off because we need to plug our shifter plug into the back of this thing. So let's go ahead and take this off. So the steering wheel actually came with these little props here that you can add on there so you know you can clamp on something really thin. But I'm kind of surprised they didn't include that with this guy, whatever. So over here in the back of the steering wheel, we just have one more plug left which is for the shifter. So this is the pedals, that's the power, and then this is the output to the Xbox, and here we have the shifter. And so all we got to do is plug that in, probably go around here one time, and then these, use these super cool channels that they made here, so the wires are all nice and organized. And that's it, we should have our shifter connected to the system here. Alright guys, so Marcus is kind of situated, so now we're going to adjust the shifter to him. Does that feel pretty good? Mm -hmm. right here. Or should it be... No, more this way. Well, that, that's going to be crooked. It has to be kind of like this. So you're saying closer? Well, over here is more easier. Lower a little bit or higher? No, just... Right there? No, high. That's perfect. Okay. All right. Hold on. I'm going <laughs> to tighten you up there. All right, guys. So we got them all tightened up. Okay, bro. So here, this is how it works. First is this way. 
Mm -hmm. This is second. Yeah, I seen your eyes. Third, fourth, fifth. Well, just stay for now, first and second. See if you can figure out. Wait, what is this? This is the middle. That's right here. First is like this. So oh, this is the, the middle. line is right there. Yeah, that's the line that goes side Wait, to side. Wait, what's first? First is this. First. I wish they would have put numbers here. I know. Maybe we can 3D print one with numbers. <laughs> <laughs> so that's two. So this is one, two. One. No, no, one is that way, bro. One is this way? No, that's three. That's the middle. That's neutral right here. This is first. This is first? So you have to go this way, and then this is second. So you have to keep it towards you. Yeah, he's going to have to learn. It's going to be a little bit hard for him because he doesn't know what that is. But it's good because when he grows up, he'll be able to understand a real manual a little better. Okay, go ahead and start the game. Works. Oh, it works? Yeah. Oh. So the shifter started working automatically. Okay, go to first, bro. There you go. Yeah, let's see if Marcus can fit. Oh, you went to fourth. Look, you have it says right there. So you're in fourth, dude. You're in neutral now. Neutral? What is neutral? Neutral means nothing. Remember, I showed you today. You got to put it in gear. It doesn't do anything. Oh yeah, I'm in infinity. Put it in gear, bro. Put it in fourth or third or whatever you want. That's first, dude. Second. There you go. You're still in second, bro. You're revving out. Maybe go to third. That's straight up. Straight up. Oh, you just went to fourth. Straight up? Straight up is third. There you go. Now down to fourth. Just straight down. There you go. Fifth is all the way this way. No, you went to third, bro. Straight down is fourth. Fifth is all the way this way up. There you go. See, now you're in fifth. Good job, dude. You're actually learning this a lot faster than I thought. So maybe go to fourth. Straight down. Straight down? Oh, you went to second, bro. You pulled it to yourself. Okay, this is very hard. Yeah, you're going to have to learn, dude. It's going to take a little while. But when you learn, it's going to be I so fun. <laughs> Oh wait, but what is this thing? That's a clutch. You're supposed to push that before you change the gear. First learn the gears and then I'll teach you the clutch, okay? Oh my This clutch is kinda hard. Third, what's Third is straight up. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I wish they would have labeled that thing. So we can just keep rolling? Yep, that's oh. neutral. Okay, now okay, go in like probably third here. Third is straight up. There you go. Now you can go. I guess probably need a second for that. <laughs> there you go. Fifth is all the way up to the left. I mean, I'm sorry, to the right, yep. There you go, you got it, bro. Everything's on the wrong side of the road. I know. It's so it's annoying. This way. Can't wait to get Forza Horizon 4, dude. I know, it's probably gonna be Maybe for Christmas, dude, that'll be awesome. But yeah, hopefully this will teach him how to drive and uh, at least he'll know the concept of a shifter and a clutch eventually here so all right guys and that is the g shifter so it works for both g29 and g920 for the xbox so yeah it's super fun to play with we still have to you know get used to it and stuff but it's definitely a really nice addition to our little setup here so yeah guys go check out our review of the uh, g29 here so we had a lot of fun with that and then our rosy setup here now the shifter so we're definitely gonna be enjoying this setup here so yeah guys if you don't have a shifter yet you should get one i think at the time when we were buying it was like 52 dollars on amazon prime so it was a pretty good deal for a shifter and if you enjoyed this video guys hit that like button and if you want to see more videos like this and you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button and as always guys thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one peace, peace.